Hello, my fellow members from Zero Tolerance. Uh, as I promised Vera, I um, have gotten a new translation bot installed on Discord, and um, we have some issues with uh, the English people. They do not understand Russian, and um, I am in the same boat. I feel a bit isolated when I see the Russian people speak, uh, speaking Russian and nothing else. I don't don't understand jack shit. And I'm sure that the same problem goes the other way around when I'm talking to Kun. And uh, Kun and me speaks uh, English and nobody, none of the Russian people understand. Um, here's the thing. Uh, there's now a new bot in our Discord. It's, uh, it's called an interaction bot. And uh, here's how you use it. If you look at my screen, you can see you start by typing C O N F I G config and then you uh, press space and here you can use the arrow keys uh, uh, choosing up and down you should never choose guilt guilt uh, is kind of like um, uh, then you uh, then you make an, a global setting and I'm not even sure it's visible to you, it's visible to me because I'm the administrator on the server. But um, I am going to choose user because I'm only, I only want to set the translation options for myself and nobody else. We do not want, to, we do not want uh, a global setting for the translation, but that will only be confusing and the bot will start translating everything right and left. And, it looks like hell, and even the author of the bot themselves says that uh, they don't really know how to overcome this issue with uh, when the bot is also translating everything and just uh, putting translations left and right when it's not necessary. So only use the user option. I pressed uh, enter, so you, now you can say config concerns user and then you press enter there you see uh, the internet interaction bot is now uh, waiting for me to pick a language and i will type en for english and what it should do but is not doing it should come with a confirmation message but it does not do that uh, let's try again. Maybe it didn't got it. Config. Concerns. And I should not choose guild. I should choose user. En. Maybe it doesn't work in this channel. I'll try in the, in the main channel. Kind of fake. User. En. Yes, that was. It only works in the main channel. Um, now I have set my own personal language for English. And uh, the thing is... Uh, now I can start using the bot and how you want to use the bot um, and another thing I'm, I'm, I'm also going to say is uh, you can actually also write uh, R U like this for Russian and then uh, you'll set your own personal language for Russian when then you can do this here here you have some Russian and you mark it and then you go to apps and translate and the interaction bot will start translating sometimes it's slow I don't know why it can take up take up to half a minute and um, then it will translate uh, her, her message uh, and uh, say and write in in English what did Vera write in Russian and then it's, it will translate that to, to English 
and it goes both ways. I can even uh, do like this. Config user and now I'm set my own language uh, is Danish uh, because I'm from Denmark and I will go up here and find, find her a Russian now translate and uh, this nobody understand anything uh, about because uh, this is Danish and um, it's actually almost correctly translated but uh, it's uh, it, it doing it's doing a really good job and uh, these translation messages can only be seen by you and nobody else so that's uh, that's a perfect uh, example of a good use of the translation bot uh, it doesn't make the channel cluttering cluttered there, there is an auto translate option do not use it I repeat, do not use it. This is uh, what we want to avoid because the auto translate option just starts translating everything in the channel and everything gets very confusing.